Hi guys, Neff here, and this is SCP Nine Tower Fox. Uh, I haven't played this since it very first released, but I know there's been a bunch of updates since then. I'm just not sure if they're like massive content updates or just like small bug fixes and things. So I'm not entirely sure what to expect in terms of anything new since the last time I played. Uh, for this video, I'm just going to be doing the single player, but at some point I will drag my friends in and we will do the multiplayer again. No turning back now. Let's do this. This is very dark, hang on. This is very dark. Okay, so I have the P90, I have a USP, a combat knife, level 5 keycard, and an SNAV. And then I also have the uh, quick selection slots. Oh, I remember now I kept shooting things by accident. <clears throat> Okay, our work here is done, let's go. Okay guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Ahem, anywho, find the checkpoint room. Can you, can you move, can you, can you... Um, I have questions. I have many, many questions. See, in this game you press E to open doors, whereas in normal CB you click to open doors. And it's these kind of things that make it so that I constantly press the wrong thing every time I switch back and forth between different games. FPS 629. Okay then. So I'm finding the checkpoint room, right? Uh, okay, let's try down here. Well, this looks like it could be something. Come on guys, let's go. They must have cut the power. The elevator isn't working. I don't think my two buddies down there are going to survive. Use? This doesn't seem very fair. Is this scripted? Was I meant to do that? Question mark? Forced law. I see how it is. Um, okay, is there any indication of anything? Any piece of paper on the floor, maybe? Hi. No. Nope. 12, 1400 FPS. Then we'll do the one next to it. Man, it's been a while since I've had to do this. That was very close, Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm gonna die, I feel like it's gonna hit me. No, I did it. Don't panic. Remember your training. Do panic. Forget your training. Go absolutely feral. Find a new weapon for defense. So I've literally lost everything.
If a theoretical physicist can make this work, I guess I can too. Cringe. Okay, so I'm on one, so let's go to two. Okay, so whilst I'm wandering around up here, there's uh, there's something that I've been considering doing for a while now. Um, I want to do a charity slash sponsored event type thing. Um, and I was initially planning on doing it throughout the month of September. It would be like a month long thing where I set myself the target of biking a thousand miles in a month. Uh, and it would be like a, a sponsored bike ride event throughout the month of September. And I would create a Tiltify page to go along with it. And hello. And I would have all of these incentives for you guys um, to kind of encourage you to, to donate. So for example, there would be different like donation tiers. And if you were to donate in say tier three, you could request a video based on whatever you would like to see me play. So that could be a an SCP containment breach challenge, it could be Secret Lab, it could be Five Nights at Freddy's, it could be like literally anything that you want. So for like say for example for the, the tier three, the limitations would be that it's like say one video that would take like a couple of hours to film, for example. Like like a typical containment breach type video or a secret lab video or a phasmophobia something like that where it's kind of like that sort of length and then for example if you were to donate within the tier 4 bracket you could request a series of videos so that i would play a, a longer game something similar in length to say like outlast or uh <gasps> oh that got me if you so say donated in the tier 4 bracket, um, you could request a, a longer game, something that would take say between 5 and 10 hours to play and would end up being 3 or 4 videos long. So I would film that and uh, do all of that for you if you were to donate within that specific tier. I haven't sort of worked out what the, the tiers would be, like what kind of amounts I'm kind of thinking, I, I would like your feedback. On that and what you think is a good price to set if i were to do it that is i'm still not 100 percent certain i will do it it's just an idea i've been mulling over but i wanted to get your guys feedback on if you think it's a good idea i'm not exactly sure uh, specifically what charity it's going to be for it's going to be something to do with like marine conservation marine litter um something to do with marine uh like life and, and well-being because as you probably already know I work in uh, marine science, so that is a subject that's near and dear to my heart and I am all about cleaning up our oceans and uh, looking after our, our marine wildlife. So I would probably do some charity to that extent. Just let me know what you guys think, if you, if you would be sort of interested or willing, I am not going in there, if you would be interested and, and willing to participate in this and, and help me raise some money for a good cause and a cause that is very very close to my heart and very important to me well this is very unfortunate can i open the door Oh god, this isn't good. Oh god, oh god. So let me get know what you guys think. If you've got any suggest oh good lord. If you've got any suggestions for incentives for the, the kind of like the price brackets that I should probably be aiming for. Any, any ideas, any suggestions, please do throw them my way. If you think it's a terrible idea and that nobody's going to buy into it, then just let me know so I can sort of, you know, spare myself the misery. 
I can't see a thing. my objective no objectives available okay well that answers that one g something just opened that door i haven't activated 966 so that must have been 049 maybe Anything else? What's gonna get me first? It's a race, it's a race. I reckon 173 is gonna get me first, to be honest. Do it for the thumbnail, do it for the thumbnail. Oh, Jesus. Uh, there's nothing in there I need. Frick, 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 frick. I don't have a gun, I just have a crowbar. Where are you? Are they gone already? Okay, I don't know if I should challenge them right now, to be honest. Oh, progress. I am going to do this. Please let me go. <laughs> oh, I've got an achievement. Is this where I started? Right, light containment. What am I trying to achieve? Do I need to go to the starting room and like essentially do the whole thing in reverse? Do I, I leave in this where you normally start in normal containment breach. Okay, what? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm hitting, I'm hitting. Oh. Okay. You cannot carry any- You cannot carry any more items. I mean, are you sure? I feel like I can. Right. Hi, buddy. Oh, for frick's sake. The starting room. Okay, so... I'll get through there. I'll get through there. Starting to think this is not the way. Is he gonna turn up here though? Let me let me just switch to my uh, crowbar.
106 isn't even around anymore, but still, it's the principle of the thing. Nice nerve ultimate and okay, save. Let's just see what happens if I drop my guns and I put them on fine. No. Okay. Almost like absolutely nothing happened. I saw you walking into a corner for no reason. Just because. Okay, bye. I mean, do I want to go to entrance? And try and leave the way I came? Hello? Hello? Just meant to be locked. Let me go back to heavy, I suppose. You know what? Room not found. What's the room name? If it's not room 008 or just 008, what is it? Time to go into the game files! Okay, they've changed the room names, so it's teleport cont 008. Right. I'm just in here with the plague. I'm in here with the plague. Okay. So in this game, the electrical room is literally called electrical center. Room not f <gasps> What? But it's exactly what it's called because I looked it up. I'm just looking through the um the NTF specific uh, rooms that have been created. So looking at these rooms, unless they just use already existing rooms uh, to have some kind of exit, I'm just getting the impression that there's still no end to this game. I'm not seeing anything in these. I'm not showing it obviously on the screen, but I'm currently I've got the uh, I've got the room list open and I can't find anything that looks like it's gonna get me out of here. But the fact that there's no objective for me, there's nothing directing me in uh, in any kind of way. Uh, I think I'm done. Uh, okay, so now if I try... Classic mode allows you to play the game without any major story events. I mean, did this even have major story events? <clears throat> only secure, only contain, only protect. Let's go secure, contain, and protect. No turning back now. Let's do this. Okay, that's interesting. So I just tried to launch classic mode, and three times it froze whilst trying to launch via Steam. So I copied out the game files and pasted them onto my D drive and just opened it the same as I would any other container breach game that I've just extracted from a zip file and it actually loaded classic mode first time so if you're playing this game via like the steam app and you're having issues loading into a game just go into the game files from steam copy and paste them out somewhere else and just launch it like you would normal containment breach and that hopefully will fix the issue oh god every time just literally every time Oh, I like this. This is pretty. Check and mate. How could you tell? I thought you didn't know how to play that. Bitch, you thought. 
There we go, checkpoint room. Use the elevator to go to light or heavy containment zone. Guys? Buddies? Chums? Pals? Amigos? Dudes? My brothers? Where did they go? Right, let's go. Okay, so if we go to one. How's it going? Find 106 is containment chamber. Find 173 to start the containment procedure. Okay, I can do both of those things. That's linking. Blinking. Guys? Blinking? Blinking? Guys? Guys? Eyes on one seven three. Blinking. Dude, you dude, please, please, got please, can you reassess your priorities here, mate? Going to blink. So I'm blinking. Blinking. I'm blinking. Blinking. SCP-173 is now in its cage. Oh, he's so freaking cute though, look at him. Right, where are we going? We're going in here. Thumb now, thumb now, thumb now. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <clears throat> sorry, 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 sorry. Just gonna just, um, <clears throat> thumb now, thumb now. Can you... You're, you're a little close. I'm trying to get a thumb now. You're... 173, please. This is the joys that you go through when you're trying to make a thumbnail. Oh, that might that might have been it. Okay, I think we're good. Right, where is his containment chamber? Situation is stable. Over. Just gonna quickly check. Okay. So we need to find the start room. Oh god, every- just every time. You know what? I'm going to. Because why wouldn't I? Uh, you know? Come on, buddy, you can do it. Where is he? Why does he keep disappearing? You know, you know what? Oh, he's back. I was just getting a way to figure out your uh, proximity, but I guess I don't need to now. But oh, just in case I lose you, uh, oh god, you're you're right there. Yep. Personal space is just not a thing. So can this still detect him, even if he's contained? Oh, it does. So if I lose him again, I can go find him. Ah. Right, let's go. SCP-106 spotted. SCP-106 spotted. Spotted. You know what I say to that? <gasps> Wait. 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 Hang on. I'm detecting something isn't quite right here. <sighs> SCP-106 spotted! Well, this is a bit shit. I've spotted 106. Run! Protect me! Uh, do we have to take 173 detected. through the 939 tunnels? Spotted. Right, okay. So we have to take 173 through the 939 tunnels is basically what I'm getting from the way this map looks. Certainly looks as though uh, this would be where the, the start is. Right, I'm just going to take care of myself and just assume that you guys can get through here unscathed. Looks like nobody's around. Oh. It's quiet. I was fully prepared to leave you guys to your death, but I suppose that's uh, not going to happen. <laughs>
Okay. The only fucking reliable one on the team is 173. Right, I'm just gonna go and just like assume that those guys are gonna like spawn ahead of me or something. Yep. Yep, there we go. And here's the start room. 1173. This is your new home, come on. <laughs> Either that or it's whatever you wait We for have me. successfully contained SCP-173. I mean, is that it? Do we not close the doors or... Anything? If I move, is he gonna, like, come with me? SCP-173 contained successfully by Foxtrot Unit 1. Hi, buddy. Right, so our next objective is get out of my way. Is to recontain. Get out of my way. Is to recontain 106, right? Okay, 106 is chamber. Where you at? Catastrophic error. Okay, guys, this is the. Uh... There we go. That's the error I just got. I'm taking a screenshot and I'm sending it to you via my video. <clears throat> Hi! Is it happening when I'm getting out my SNAV? Same again. Okay, let's just test it. Yep, it's every time I go to get my SNAV out. Okay, so I can't play with my SNAV. Recall protocol RP106-N. objectives available. So if there's no objectives available, I guess we just go kill ourselves to 096, right? It's amazing how sometimes you can look at his toe and it'll trigger him, and then other times it takes that amount of exposure to actually get him to trigger. It's That's it, buddy. If you just turn your back, it's not really happening. Protect me, guys. Meet shield. Meet shield. So, I think so far for now, in terms of the single player, I think that's kind of all there is to it for now, until, like, you know, future updates. Uh, like I said, I will replay the multiplayer at some point soon, because I think they have added some more to that as well. So yeah, like I said before about like the, the sponsored charity event type thing, please let me know what you think. If you've got any suggestions, any thoughts, any ideas, please feel free to let me know. But thank you very much for watching guys and take care.